Hello guys, my name is HoneyBuilder227B, or HoneyDooloon on Roblox, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be uh, talking to you about the importance of PBR, which Roblox recently implemented into its, uh, into its beta program. So, <clears throat> if you go ahead and look at the uh, announcement on DevForm, you can see among mesh deformation, which is extremely important for animations that are realistic, coherent, uh, a little on that later. But <clears throat> one thing I'm really excited about and that all modelers should be really excited about is this, PBR surface appear appearance. Um, and so what PBR basically is, is physically based rendering. So if you're wondering what that is, um, again, more on that later, but it basically is uh, a workflow, is the best word to describe it. A workflow that allows your material uh, to look as if it was a real object in real life using uh, lighting properties that are derived from real life. So, um, without any, any, uh, it has just as much performance impact as a normal texture. And what do I mean by that? I'll show you in a second. So, uh, this is again in the beta program. So, uh, it's not going to be released for a few months if I were to guess. So there's that too. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and Oh, and this was on the roadmap too for uh, the fourth quarter, right here. Materials and customization. Custom materials with custom specular reflectance properties and normal map textures. And so you can see that's on track. And uh, again, it's in the beta program. Okay, so let's look at ex an example I uh, I uh, set up. <clears throat> so as you can see here. Uh, on the right, we have what it what Roblox used to look like with textures, and on the left, we have the new uh, physically based rendering or PBR workflow. So, as you can see here, if I have a surface appearance added to it, I have a color map. But um, this is a this is a new object that Roblox recently implemented as a part of this new update. Um, it basically allows for four channels, roughness, normal, metalness, and color, and more on those later. And I only have color, uh, which is what uh, old Roblox, older Roblox used to have prior to the update. So we have that. And now we have our PBR uh, workflow. So as you can see here, I have more channels input. I I didn't do anything with the metalness map because this is not a metal object. Um, I could input something if I wanted, but uh, it's not really the most necessary channel. Um, uh, okay, so as you can see, based on where I am in position, in uh, relative position to this object, light acts on it differently. And this is uh, basically the whole uh, the whole principle of normal maps, which look like that. They're purple, and what normal maps basically do is they dictate how light uh, acts on your object, which is an extremely powerful tool which Roblox has been missing for a really long time. Uh, we also have uh, color map, we've already established what that is. It's basically this, just, you know, albedo, uh, nothing to it. Um, no lighting, it's just plain color without any effects on it. And then here we have roughness map, which basically, if I were to change this value, uh, how rough is this material? I want it all the way rough because it's wood. Maybe uh, in the roughness map, roughness map that I imported, uh, is different for scratches and things like that but if you don't understand what I'm saying that's fine this is more intended towards the people who are more uh, uh, familiar with the PBR workflow but why am I even making this video in the first place well I wanted to 
just for those upcoming modelers, uh, I just wanted to explain the importance of this update. Um, one complaint I have so far is that I can't seem to add custom custom baked normals to my meshes. See, these are parts with a, a surface appearance, so I'm not sure how that's going to be handled because I've seen other people able to put their images, their uh, their PBR uh, channels with their own custom unwrapped and baked textures onto their own meshes. So I'm not sure. Um, if you have an idea of why that is, leave it in the comments because I see other people being able to do it. And I also have a uh, guide on how to bake normal maps. I'll leave that in the description. It's on the dev forum. Um, it's uh, under community tutorials, I think, or resources somewhere around uh, that ballpark. But uh, yeah, so I hope that you are very hyped over this because um, <laughs> honestly, it's, it's a huge step up for Roblox PBR. Um, it really, uh, it's really starting to, Roblox is really starting to become a software that, for lack of a better word, can be taken seriously. Um, you know, Roblox, for the longest time, uh, only really recently, I guess, and I might be being naive when I say this, uh, have been really taking strides in order to become a more legitimate software. When it comes to accommodating the uh, the needs of developers who who are loyal to Roblox and its functions, but also uh, have skill that they want to employ, you know, because before this, people who the 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 low poly to high poly and baking workflow wasn't present, which was a big turnoff to many experienced modelers who wanted to practice their art. But they couldn't <clears throat> because of this. So, uh, again, I have a guide in the description for baking normals. Uh, check it out if you're not familiar with how the entire thing works. Uh, again, I can't seem to apply my uh, surface appearances to meshes with custom baked things. So, again, leave it in the comments if you know how to fix that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.